Under the new licensing regime, a failure to comply with a 40% local content requirement will lead to imposition of hefty fines or even the registration. The fines will then be used to develop local content, which according to Angusi has been the biggest hindrance to the development of local content. We wanted to ensure that we come up uh, with the uh, you know, uh, approaches that is going to help our young people right from training at the university through technology that is now available to even resources that can enable them to be able to be creators of their own content so that we can fill these channels with our local content. Meanwhile, Nairobi will be the first town to be switched from analog broadcasting to digital. Digital Carrier Pan-African Group has until the end of the year to roll out in 12 cities. Migration will then be done in phases, extending from Nairobi to other towns. If there will be any mistakes we would have made, because you know nationwide mistakes can be more expensive than uh, first mistakes. If there are any mistakes we shall make in, Nair in Nairobi, for example, we cannot replicate it in Mombasa or Kisumu or any other place. Nairobi is expected to be on the digital platform before the end of the year, although that date is not clear as of now. For the news at Tatum, Joanne Wairimo.